Painting a Frog on a Phone Case by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. So this is the phone case I'm using. It's for an iPhone 5, and I have already drawn out the shape of my tree frog with some black multi-surface paint, and now I'm going to be filling in his body and then his forearms and his legs with a bright green. And the kind of paint I'm using, as I just mentioned, is multi-surface. And I'm using multi-surface craft paint. So when you're looking at paint, if you don't have any on hand, and you, like I said, it is craft paint, and you want to make sure that on the label it says multi-surface or something to that effect and if you look at it the kind i'm using can be gone can go in the dishwasher and it's indoor outdoor and it lists a whole bunch of surfaces that it can be used on and that's what you need to find because if you don't have that kind of paint it's going to either peel off or chip off or it's not going to last or be very durable and so then i'm going to be filling in i was talking over this part but you want to fill in his toes with yellow his eyes with red and then around in his legs the rest of his legs with blue so now i'm going to add a second coat of that green over my green and then i'm going to while that is still wet blend in some white and some yellow for highlights so i'm going to highlight his eyelids down his nose a little bit and then down his back and on his sides and so i'm going to be using white to highlight around his face but then i'm gonna add a little bit of yellow right there on his back and it doesn't show up very well in the video but it does make his back look a little bit brighter than the rest of him which is going to help with that 3d image so then i'm highlighting his back with some white as well i used both And now I'm going to be highlighting his legs. So first, like I did before, I'm going to add a second coat of that multi-surface paint over his legs and then blend in the colors. And I've used several different brands of the multi-surface paint. And I personally, I like Americana the best, um, but that one you can't buy everywhere. And I really don't recommend Craftsmart for the brand because that one is not nearly as pigmented. That being said, none of them are going to cover in one coat. They are all, they're all going to need a couple coats to cover, just especially since you're painting on a shiny surface when you're doing a phone case. And so just keep that in mind and know that you're going to have to add a couple coats. I did three over my entire frog. Um, one of them in the middle, I didn't record because watching me paint a second coat over color is not that interesting. But that being said, just keep in mind, you're going to have to have a couple coats and it does take slightly longer than other paint to dry. And so you're going to have to plan that out and let it dry and just, it takes a little bit of practice to work with this other kind of paint. So then I'm going to add a second or a third coat of yellow over the feet and then blend in some red just to add some little darker hues and then highlight them with white. And so I'm going to be doing that on all of his little feet. So when I did this, I wanted to focus the red towards the end of his toe, so I added just a little dab of that red paint, and then I blended it back in towards the center of his foot. And then I highlighted them. And tree frogs' feet, they've got these little almost suction cups on the ends of their toes, and the very ends of their toes are a little bit more bulbous than um, they get kind of skinnier towards the base of their foot. And so you also want to highlight that so that it shows off that curvature of their toes. And we have one last foot. And the other thing is with the green on their pinky, so that outside toe on all of their feet is also has um, sort of an edge of green on it. So don't forget to continue your green onto their pinkies. And that's also on their hands and on their feet. And then I'm going to be highlighting his eyes with just a little bit of yellow, just to blend that in. And then I'm going to be working on the blue, and I'm going to be highlighting the blue with white. So now I'm going to be going in with my really small brush, my detail brush, and I'm going to be adding some black details. And so I'm going to be outlining pretty much everything, and usually I don't outline things. Um, but in this particular circumstance, especially with this case that I'm painting it on, has a lot of black lines and borders on it. And so that black edging really does make it look um, very intense and bright and like it goes with the case, which is something that you do want it to have like it looks like it goes together. And the other thing is um, the phone that this is going to be put on is sort of a charcoal color. And so when you have a dark case, just that black outline doesn't really show up very much, but it does add. And so in this particular circumstance, I think that outline is a good thing. 
And also while I'm doing this, I added his nostrils and his pupils. And then I'm going to add just a shadow around one edge of my frog with some diluted black paint. And I'm just going to add that and just with a wider brush, just sort of brush it along that edge just to make him look like he is standing on the case or on the phone. And he has a little bit more dimension. It's going to make him look kind of 3D. And then I'm going to be sealing him in with, I am actually using matte nail polish. Um, that is mostly because I'm a nail tech and I use nail polish for all sorts of things. There are other sealers that you could get. Um, I would look into it, maybe do some research before doing it. Um, maybe even some clear spray paint would work. But you do want to seal this in. That's just going to help protect it. And also, I like my frog being matte. I think he looks better that way. But it's up to you. So I hope you were able to learn something from this. And don't forget to share any questions or comments with me. And click subscribe to see my future videos as well.